on the hard, I think we had a lot more pace in, in the car. So that was definitely very positive. Um, so I could already see that there we were more competitive, but the gap was quite big. Um, so, um, yeah, then of course with the safety car we came in again. Um, of course, I, at that time I had a damaged front wing, so I had to cope with that as well. So I definitely lost a bit of downforce with that. But it was all drivable, so we, we opted to keep it on. And then to the end it was fun, like we were pushing flat out, uh, you know, to, to the end. Today I didn't leave anything on the table. I honestly maximized absolutely everything, uh, maybe the start. Uh, but then we got unlucky with the safety car. It was only five laps after we had boxed, which is the worst moment really for the tires because you start to warm them up and then you cool them down and then it's very difficult to restart the tires and to rewarm them. And then we struggled for the second half of the race, which is a shame, but on the other hand, I mean, as much as I'm very tough with myself whenever I do a mistake, I'm also... Um, yeah, I recognize when I do a good job myself and today, honestly, was a really, really good race and I'm really happy. I really thought that the win was achievable today. I, I passed Charles relatively easy and um, I just couldn't pull away from him. I think my top speed was quite, quite a bit down. Uh, Charles stayed on my DRS for the entire race and uh, he got by and then Max came through and uh, yeah, that, that just made it uh, quite a little bit harder for us to to get the, the victory today. An amazing feeling, you know, I'm, I'm uh, again alive, you know, after yesterday. Um, yesterday we were injured, but uh, the healing power uh, of the Deadpool helmet made uh, his difference today. You know, it, it definitely was a crazy race. Um, we stayed away from the graining, from the degradation that uh, everyone had and uh, managed to, you know, come back from P16 to P4. So. Um, yeah, it just feels feels awesome. You know, it's been six races, five to six races in Singapore, really, that the planets didn't align for us. And uh, today, um, finally, things turned around and uh, we managed to score an awesome result. Yeah, good strategy um, and great recovery. Was it quite fun to be racing up towards the sharp end and kind of having yeah. the car to attack? Yeah, for sure. The car was feeling good today. and. Uh, I think we had good pace throughout the race. I wish, you know, we, we could have been a bit uh, further ahead uh, or uh, starting in the first row with Charles to make uh, Max's life a bit more difficult. I think with two Ferraris up there, we the race, I think, would have been even more fun than uh, apparently what it was. But it's what it is. Uh, I w was in the middle of the pack and suffered a lot with the tire warm-up, the graining, the engine overheating, but still we managed to make a good recovery. Just uh, a bit unfortunate today. Had good pace, um, but... I was doomed from yesterday, I guess. Um, qualifying really screwed me, and, um, and that's on me. And then, then the race was, I got a big, big hit from behind at the start, so we all went wide. I was really lucky to like not collect people that were spun around the other way, and then obviously lost out another 20 seconds or whatever it was on the slow lap with the puncher after uh, Oscar, and then pit stop 20 plus seconds, and. So it's a game to come back from that. Um, I'm pretty grateful. Yeah, really disappointed to be honest. It feels like the, the story of the season. Um, on course for an easy P3, to be honest. And then the incident with Max, totally my fault. Didn't see him at all going through turn 11, the left. Um, sort of, you, you have a bit of a blind spot. Um, and it's not really an overtaking opportunity. So I've got to be honest, I wasn't even looking in the mirrors. And even if he made the overtake, I'd have just passed him straight back. So I was a bit surprised that um, the overtake was attempted there. But as I said, totally my fault and totally changed the race. I thought it was it was over uh, after uh, corner one. But uh, yeah, thanks to the safety car, I rejoined the group uh, at the back. And uh, yeah, we could race from there and uh, yeah, score points, uh, especially with both cars. Great result. From, from Lance, I think that gives us um, some, some good energy into the last race. And collectively, the fight is on really with McLaren, isn't it, for that P4, the constructors? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we thought that it was over also that, that fight, and now the last few events we were uh, outscoring them, and uh, yeah, maybe there is a little bit of hope. Yeah, you know, we were, we were looking good for a long time. Obviously, just a shame that I, I knew I had to do an extra stop, so. Um, yeah, pace was, was very good. Um, nice to get a bonus point for fastest lap as well so um, yeah not the easiest of days for a lot of people I think um, you know pretty jumbled race but um, I think with everything that happened I think uh, you know it was more or less the best we could have done um, so yeah happy with the pace and um, 
just a shame that we, we started so far back and uh, a couple of things didn't go, quite go away. I think we had a great start, uh, running in fourth, I think even third at some point. Uh, but then, yeah, fitting that uh, set of heart just uh, was uh, pretty chaotic for us. So I grained the tires quite early on and, and just had no pace um, for the majority of the second part of the race. So tried to, to defend as much as I could, but um, yeah, uh, quite frustrating, I must say, after such a, such a good Saturday. In my opinion, the race wasn't going that badly and I was managing quite well. Um, and then when that safety car came out in the middle of the race, all the cars behind almost got a, well, the cars in the front had a free pace stop, the cars behind decided to stop. So by the end, I was racing everyone on new tires, oh, they were on new tires and I was on old tires. Um, I could just about manage and do my own race, but then as soon as they were starting to overtake me, um, you've just got to push a bit more and that, that emphasizes the graining. The graining just gets worse and worse and you go offline to defend, you, you lock up a little bit more, you grain more and it's a cycle. Um, the last two laps, my tyres cleaned up again, <laughs> but by that point, uh, the race was over, so I first race. I'll have to go and, and review it, but um, we had good pace and we didn't score points. I knew the start would be difficult, but then once everything kind of settles, I felt like we would be able to get into a rhythm and, and uh, yeah, show, show a little bit more pace, but it um, wasn't the case. And uh, I think as well, with, with all the restarts, we just... We suffered so much more than the others with warm-up. Um, I was getting overtaken on the outside of turn three and the outside is really slippery. So for them to have more grip on the outside, it was, I was just like, oh man, it was, uh, it was pretty, <laughs> pretty humiliating. Everything was not too bad, starting on the hard, had a good pace, uh, doing my own race. And then safety obviously came a little bit earlier than I wanted to be. So we have to force into, let's say a medium tire and then to do 30 laps on the medium. I don't think with today's decoration will be possible for anyone. And unfortunately, yeah, we was fighting for the points and then 10 laps to go, we were just dropping so much per lap. And unfortunately, yeah, where we were. You know, as a team, we came around fifth and sixth after the first lap, which was the goal. Um, felt like we managed that stint relatively well, just to be expected, the quicker cars started to, to come through towards, towards the end of that stint. And, um, yeah, we, we went with our strategy, we boxed for the hards, the plan was to take those to the end. I don't think we were in a bad position until that second safety car came out and it really killed any chance we had. Obviously it was disappointing, but uh, I kind of hoped that yeah, I could still recover, recover from there, but the biggest issue was the damage I had actually from a hit from behind. So my diffuser was quite in a few pieces, which... Um, then compromised so I couldn't really make any progress and was always just falling backwards so it felt like a long race longer than 50 laps. We um, gambled a couple, little bit of uh, setups um, into the race and actually from the qualifying and um, uh, for just our car um, it didn't work in the end but actually we we happy that we ch challenge it challenge it uh, we knew the pace here is, was really really poor so something we had had to do so uh, I liked it. I liked the challenge, but just didn't work in the end. We had to cut through traffic. I had a good start, but then uh, with that accident, had to go the wide way in turn one around the outside. Lost quite a lot of places, um, and then yeah, was was behind already. Uh, lost a couple of positions there. But after that, I think uh, yeah, I felt pretty comfortable in the car, and uh, I felt like we had more pace. But it was always traffic, or also you know, for graining protection, you had you couldn't really push as much as you wanted. So that was a bit uh, limiting.